So thank you for joining us, Rita. You and I just talked for a little bit off camera, so to speak, and, and off recording. And we want to talk about a, let's call it the impossible um, vision improvement. You went from 380, 360? Yes. To 2020 in one session. I have that right? Yes. And your ophthalmologist, your eye doctor, called it impossible? Yes. Okay. What did she say? Tell me what she said. She said, the only way that anyone's eyes would ever improve is through laser. Yeah. She, did you do laser surgery on your eyes? And I said, I did no such thing. Okay. If I told you what I did to my eyes, you would not believe me. And so she asked me. And I told her, and she says, impossible. Well, what you did was invite the unseen therapist, but we want to go over a little history about that first. But, but before we do that, you have had this improvement in your eyes. Yes. That you're at 2020. You don't need glasses, contact lenses, anything. And it's, it's lasted now for a year and a half. Yes. Okay. All right. So you had some exposure and some understanding of, of the tapping form of EFT from some years back. Yes. So, and I'm sort of summarizing the story here a little bit. So, so you used tapping for the vision problem. Correct. But you got like temporary results. You got like 10% results or something like that temporarily. Am I right? Right. Correct. Okay. And when you were tapping, I think you were telling me you would tap something like, you t for the symptom, even though my, I don't see well, or even though my eyes don't work well. Can you remember the words, actually? Yeah, basically, even though bad eyes run in my family, I deeply and completely, even though I want to be the champion for the family and have the better eyes, okay. you know, even though I've been suffer, you know, suffering with bad eyes for years now. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was saying just the wrong things. Well. And I wasn't getting down to the specifics. Good, thank you. And, and for education of those listening in, what you were doing, in my terms, was aiming at the symptoms. My eyes don't work. Those are the symptoms, okay? Correct. Uh -huh. Now, with more in-depth use of EFT, even the tapping form, but more specifically unseen therapists, we're getting to the cause. Why aren't your eyes doing well, etc.? Correct. And so you are a... A somewhat of a beginner, I think, an unseen therapist. Would I say that right? Yes. But from reading my book and from a little experiments and so on, what you did was you laid down and you basically, I'm going to have you say it in a minute, but you basically said, I trust unseen therapists. You don't even know what the specific events are. Right. You, you don't know what the causes in, may be. You're yeah. asking for guidance. Say what happened, would you? I basically just laid down, closed my eyes, and I called on, on you know, I called on to her. And mm -hmm. I said, please help me hold my hand through this process because I don't know what to do from this point forward. And that's basically what she did. And you just put your trust in her lap, right? Yes, I did. Okay. And so then you were there for how long were you there uh, with your eyes closed? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Do we get to meet your dog? <laughs> yeah, he likes to bark. All right. So, okay, so so you were there for about 20 minutes. Um, and you didn't do anything more formal than that? No. Okay. But during that 20 minutes, she started pointing out to you, if I remember this correctly, what the cause may really be. Can you talk about that? Yes. Um, as soon as I, you know, trusted her to take over and help me, I, you know, I had my eyes closed. Uh, and she, all of a sudden, I started to see this vision of this, my old boyfriend, uh, whom I lived with, who physically abused me for years. Um, and it just went from one event to another, to another, to another. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> there were even some miscarriages or abortions involved. Yes. It, I'm sorry. It, it's okay to say that? Yes. Okay. Okay. And one of those, 
at least the way you write to me in your letter to me, was the rather traumatic description of a baby coming out of you, yes. malformed at roughly five months old or yes. something like that. And that's a sight you don't want to see. Correct. And so I think you were telling me in your, in your letter that your conclusion from that was unseen therapist is showing you what it is you didn't want to see. And there's a lot of forgiveness goes on with that. There's a lot of guilt goes on with that. There's a whole lot of emotional stuff in there. And of course, if we don't want to see that, that shows up physically in our eyes. And so we don't see things very well. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and what we're really doing is replaying, I don't want to see that thing anymore. But that thing is history. Okay. So I gather that unseen therapists resolved the guilt and all the other stuff going on with that traumatic memory. Mm -hmm. Am I right on that? Yes. I don't, I think you said that, but I want to make sure we're clear about that. How do you know you're free of the guilt? Did you go back and, and, and revisit all of that and, and no sting? Yes, I did. I laid back um, when I thought that she was pretty much done. I just laid there and let her do her thing. And then, you know, you could feel when she's working on you because you feel this peaceful feeling and warmth. And then I just lay there and let her do her thing. And when I thought she was done, I tried to recall the event. And it was instantaneously, I recalled it. But the guilt, the sadness, and the pain is totally gone. You can remember the event, but all the, my term, sting. Mm -hmm is out of it yes okay so in one session we have uh not only the restoration of your eyesight from very severely bad to normal but we also had the complete resolution apparently of some very traumatic issues all that in one one session now, i i do want to point for those listening in you mentioned the fact about the peace and the warmth and you know she's working with you, et cetera. Not everybody feels that, at least not at first. That doesn't mean she's not doing it. It doesn't mean some people think they have to have some, some wow spiritual experience to know all this is happening. No, it can happen without that. Okay, people experience this kind of thing differently. But anyway, so, so that was after you got up, you went out. I think you looked out the window or out the door. Then, then I opened my front door and yeah. looked outside. I actually stepped out and looked around and I was like, oh my God, you know, everything was so vivid and crisp. I could see details on the trees. You know, I could see, I could read the street signs. You know, I mean, I see colors vividly. It, it was a beautiful experience. Yeah. Well, it would be if you haven't been able to see that for years, you know, so, so yes, 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 yes. Okay, Rita, very nice, very nice. Thank you for the details. Thank you for sharing, you know, some intimate part of your life with us. I think people who, um, who see this, who have not only vision problems, but other issues as well. This is not just limited to somebody with an eyesight issue. Any issue, any disease, et cetera, uh, uh, the same possibilities occur when we learn to you know properly communicate with unseen therapists so mm -hmm. big hug to you thank you hugs to you and thank you mm -hmm.